over 80 to 85 percent of the applications made under the humanitarian and compassionate grounds get rejected in 2024. Let's try to understand the underlying reasons beneath. I am Nilatri Mukherjee. I am a regulated Canadian immigration consultant and I practice in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. So as an organization, we make a lot of applications. One of those applications are the humanitarian and compassionate grounds applications. Out of the bucket of applications that we make under different categories, HNC count for maybe less than 2% to 3% of all the applications that we make. And the reason for that is HNC is not for everybody. I repeat, HNC is not for everybody. Humanitarian and compassion grounds applications are a very serious and different kind of applications that cater to a very different segment of people. Majority of the applications for the clients that I see, they keep on coming to me for consultation. They say that they want to apply for HNC. They do not really qualify under the HNC grounds, right? For example, if you are not getting a PR under any of the other streams, if the CRS is very high and all those factors, HNC is not a ground for you to apply for your property residency. Because when you came to Canada, maybe as a student, maybe as a temporary foreign worker, Canada did not promise you with permanent residency, right? So you not getting a PR, you not getting or, or you not getting qualified to apply for a permanent residency under any of the other streams do not make you automatically qualified under the humanitarian and compassionate grounds. In order for you to qualify under humanitarian and compassionate grounds, you have to satisfy Section 25 of the Act. The Section 25 says that if you are to be removed, you indeed would uh, encounter insurmountable amount of difficulties in your home country. And the fact that your removal from Canada will indeed have a detrimental impact on your life, right? But that really does not mean that you not getting a PR under any other streams make you qualify under agency. So before you apply under the humanitarian and compassion grounds, make sure you read, obviously, Section 25 to see if you qualify by yourself. If any doubt remains, book a consultation, understand exactly how it's being qualified, uh, like basic qualification metrics that the officers uh, use before uh, they finalize an agency application and then make an agency application because this is a complicated, expensive, and time-consuming application, most importantly, and you do not want to waste your time, money, and energy into this. Going fully well, probably the process will not be a successful one. We as an organization, we deal with a ton of applications, and as I have said, a small number of that is an agency application, and we work on cases where we think there is a genuine possibility of success. I am nobody to comment on the outcome of an application. I am nobody to give you any sort of guarantee, warranty, etc. Because I am not the decision maker. But as an organization, because we have dealt with similar nature of applications, at least I am in a position to give you a realistic idea about whether, you know, where that application is going to be landing at. So if you need our assistance with the evaluation of your situation under the humanitarian and compassion grounds, Make sure to book a consultation directly from the website, novonation.ca. I'll be more than happy to holistically review your situation to give you a realistic idea whether it makes sense for you to even proceed with an agency or not. Hope this helps. See you guys in the next one.